Okay, in this video, we are gonna talk about setting a readiness probe. So a readiness probe basically tells Kubernetes that the container is uh, ready to uh, start accepting traffic. And if you're running Spring Boot uh, 2.3 or higher, uh, this will be available in the Spring Boot actuator. So very important that you're on a, a more modern version of Spring Boot to have this functionality. Otherwise, the, what I'm showing you in this video will not work. So again, it's uh, Spring Boot 2.3 or higher. And we need to do two things here to enable the readiness probe. One is to set the environment properties for Spring Boot Actuator to enable this. And then the second is to tell Kubernetes to uh, utilize it. And we'll do both of those in the deployment YAML, the descriptor for our Spring Boot application. So here you can see uh, for the environment property, we'll go ahead and uh, work on this. So again, this is going to be a name value pair and in YAML, this is going to be a list. So we'll do name. And in this case, it is management underscore endpoint underscore health. Again, this is for the Spring Boot actuator. So management endpoint health probes enabled. I'm just double checking, make sure I don't have a, a typo there. And in this case, we want to give it a value of true. And we also need to go ahead and add in a second property. And this is going to be management. And we'll do readiness. And again, the value would be true. And then also we need to set up a, a new uh, property for this. And this is for the Kubernetes configure. So these two environment properties that we set are going to basically tell Spring Boot to expose the probe. And now we need to configure the probe for Kubernetes to use it. So the way we do this is set up readiness probe. So that's going to be an HTTP get. Port 8080, that's the uh, port that Tomcat's coming up on, the default port. And then path. Health readiness. So that uh, configures uh, Kubernetes, telling Kubernetes to go uh, do an HTTP get against port 8080 at that path of actuator health readiness. So let's go ahead and write this file. And then cube control, apply minus F, deployment, oh, deployment YAML, and made a mistake there. Let me pause this and resolve this. So I took a closer look at the, the problem there, and Kubernetes is a expecting these values to be explicitly strings, and it did not like the unescaped uh, Boolean values, but uh, going ahead and setting those values to uh, strings using the uh, quotes. I think uh, with YAML, you can also use uh, single quotes. That did clear up the problem. So uh, I reloaded it. It did load up uh, properly. And let's uh, go ahead and quit out of the uh, YAML. And you can see the cube control get all. Yeah, let me clear this and get a better view for you can see that we are uh, up and running uh, properly. So the readiness probe is working. And let me toggle over to uh, Postman. Uh, you can see here I'm going to actuator health readiness. I can go ahead and send that. And we can see that endpoint is uh, being exposed and we are uh, getting a status back of up. So that is the uh, desired uh, response for Spring Boot Actuator. So let me toggle back over to the terminal. And just to recap what we uh, changed here, the we added in the environment properties for management and endpoint health probes enabled, and then specifically management health readiness state enabled. Uh, and then we do have for the, the Boolean properties, we do have to uh, escape those as proper strings. And then to tell Kubernetes to use the readiness probe, we are doing readiness probe specifying an HTTP git on port 8080, and uh, that goes to the Spring Boot Actuator Health Readiness URL. And you can see uh, from the Postman example that path is exposed and returning back 
uh, an up status for us.